If I were president of the United States of America, the first thing I would do is paint that house in Washington, D.C. red. Then I'd go inside and retrieve the United States Constitution out of the toilet. And I'm serious, because the United States of America has now become a fascist empire, totally at odds and in violation of its own constitution. But of course, we Indians already know that this country was built on deceit, and it will die by deceit. And as president, in my meager attempt to save it, I would bring back individual liberty through representative government. One of the ways is to get rid of that idiotic concept. I mean, idiotic property taxes. Hello? You're going to give your property forever over to the government? And you're never going to own it? That is the, I think, the number one example of patriarchal insanity. Individual liberty through representative government means freedom. It means cooperation. It means love. It means all the positives of life. It means a life without fear because you develop a language like we indigenous people have done world over that makes it impossible to insult another human being. Then you develop a clan system, which means instant conflict resolution. Study that, why don't you? Instead of robbing our graves, think of the clan system. That's matriarchy, and that's what individual liberty is all about. It's not about fear. It's about how to live in family groups. That's what I call civilization. But of course, who am I? I'm just a born-again primitive.